Have you ever found yourself lost in thought, fantasizing about someone you've just met? It's a common phenomenon, but have you ever paused to ponder why? These fantasies can be windows to our deeper emotional needs, reflecting desires that go beyond the surface. They are not just idle thoughts, they represent a mosaic of our unmet needs and idealizations. Each fantasy is like a mirror, reflecting our deepest yearnings and unsatisfied wishes. They often reveal what we yearn for in our lives, be it excitement, affection, or validation. Understanding that these daydreams can be a manifestation of what we're missing can be enlightening. They're not just whims, they're signposts pointing towards our inner desires. Digging deeper, our fantasies often stem from our psychological makeup and past experiences. They can be shaped by our attachment styles, influenced by our history, and colored by our self-esteem. Understanding these roots can illuminate why we escape into these mental narratives and guide us towards developing healthier relationships and a better understanding of ourselves. Loneliness, a sense of inadequacy, or unresolved trauma can act as catalysts for our fantasies. These emotional triggers can make us more prone to daydreaming about ideal scenarios or people. Recognizing these triggers is a critical step towards addressing the root causes of our fantasies and moving towards a more grounded and authentic existence. Confronting the reasons behind our fantasies requires courage and self-awareness. It involves peeling back the layers of our desires and confronting some uncomfortable truths. However, this journey of self-discovery can lead to a profound transformation, fostering a more realistic approach to relationships and a deeper connection with our own emotions. As we wrap up, consider the stories we tell ourselves and the fantasies we indulge in. They are more than just daydreams, they are reflections of our deepest desires and fears. Understanding and addressing these can lead to a richer, more fulfilling life. So, the next time you find yourself lost in a fantasy, ask yourself, what is this really about? And remember, you're not alone in this journey.